Hey guys, this is Henry from Obedient PC Audio Labs again. Today we're going to keep working on our Cubase video tutorials and on today's tutorial we're going to learn how to change the duration of your MIDI notes in Cubase. So let's say that you have recorded a MIDI part and you know you're laying some chords here and there but just like me you're not a keyboard player and you know, you see that there's some chords, some notes that could have been longer, maybe shorter. Uh, you're not that fast with your fingers. So when you listen to performance, it's like, hey, you know, this should have been a whole note. I basically held the fingers as a half note or hey, this should have been a quarter note. I kind of play eighth note. So you want to modify those things to make it more even, or smoother. Uh, you could, yes, you could, replay it right you could re-record it do the performance again but if you can't do it for whatever reason you can always modify it you can always edit it uh, you can change the duration of every single midi note in cubase how do we do it here we go so let's go ahead and listen to this check 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 what happens i'm gonna go ahead and do the metronome so you can understand what happened here So I was supposed to play those chords um, as whole notes, but since I'm not a keyboard player, what happens is that I'm playing the chord, I'm trying to hold the chord as a whole note, but I'm thinking, hey, that I need to switch to the next chord. So what happens is I play for a little bit, then I release the keys, I find where the next chord is, and then I hit it again because I'm trying to follow the metronome. But then there's that space in between chords. Now. People that actually play keyboards, they can do it fast. I can't. So if you're like me or you don't have keyboard experience, this is going to be helpful. Um, so how do we change that? How do we make those chords play longer or shorter? Well, it's very simple. We double click on the MIDI event and we're going to see the editor opening. Uh, you can see your piano roll and here it is. You can see like this first chord. Um, it had to be a whole note. The second chord was meant to be a whole note. The last one, I guess this was the better or the best chord that I played. Still, it should have been longer and end right there. So how do I do it? Well, it's very simple. If you click and drag to select the whole, like all the notes of the chord, um, once they're selected, if you go to the end of the note, you're going to see that uh, horizontal arrow showing up. So once again, select the chord. Then you go to the right to the end of the chord and you see that horizontal arrow click and you can drag and it'll automatically snap in this case to my grid which is whole note now you can also click and drag but while you hold control you're kind of like in slip it's like you're, it's not snapping it's kind of like free floating now if you have that snap on it'll just snap to the next whole note because that's the that's my current grid. Um, so I can click and drag this other one. Boom. This one, click and drag. And this one, click and drag. Now, check what happens here. Uh, yes, it'll drag it, but since the notes were a little longer, they go a little after. Like if they end where, like after where they're supposed to be. So when that happens, you can click the individual note and then drag the end to match oops you can drag the end to match uh, where it's supposed to be like that so now if you press play check what happens now it's perfect the durations are perfect now do you want to make them a hundred percent perfect maybe not well you could do this, make it perfect, right? And then click and drag again. And while you hold control, drag a little to the left. So you leave a little bit of space, just a little bit. Because in real life, you're going to play the chord, release the keys, find the next position and hit it again. So if you do that, it'll sound a little more, I guess you could say human. Let's hit listen again. way better 
And that's it. That's how you modify or change the duration of your MIDI notes in Cubase. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any other questions, please call us from Obedient PC Audio Labs and we'll be happy to help you. See you soon. Bye-bye. Want to learn how to produce music using this or using that or using all of these? Have you been watching videos, reading manuals, blogs, and trying to figure out everything that it takes to be a music producer? Do you have a bunch of music gear that you purchased and you still haven't made any music? Well, then you need Obedia, the world's only one-on-one -on -one digital audio training and tech support service. Check out the link below for a special new subscriber offer.